里是 Manila 的大脚桶，然后这整个礼拜下雨超级大的，我整整整个礼拜要来这里，可是没有办法来，因为雨太大了。然后今天刚好就没有下雨，所以我就来了。可是，一下了车，又有开始下雨。<笑> so as you can hear behind me in Manila Cathedral. And I've been trying to come here all week, but it's been like heavy rain every day. And actually today the, the rain cleared, so I decided to come out. And of course, as soon as I get here, it starts to rain again. The cathedral is located at the Plaza de Roma in the old citadel in Tramoros in Manila. And if this is your first time visiting Manila or the Intramuros area, I would highly suggest that you put aside at least one day to explore this historically magical area. And I would suggest that you hire a Manila pedicab to take you around, which not only provides you with transportation inside the citadel, but the pedicab drivers are really excellent tour guides. Just remember that you have to bargain with the pedicab driver before you get into the pedicab. Have a look at the video I did on taking a pedicab inside Intramuros. Between 1581 to 1958, the Manila Cathedral was reconstructed several times, mainly due to the destruction caused by wars and fires and typhoons and earthquakes. In 2012, the basilica was closed for another major repair. The renovations were completed in 2014. Upgrades were made to add some LED lighting, a sound system which was digitally operated and several structural foundations which are carbon retrofitted. The Manila Cathedral also holds lots of religious artworks and sacred relics of popes and saints and it serves as the resting place of the remains of former archbishops in Manila. The Mila Cathedral is considered as a grand masterpiece of architecture. Everything inside this cathedral, including the, the carvings on the walls, the doors, the door panels, um, the stained glass, all have their own unique story. The main facade is adorned by statues of famous saints. The main altar, which is supported by pillars representing the four saints known for their pious devotion. The main altar represents Mary in the act of receiving the body of Jesus from the hands of Saint John. And the altar communion rail consists of fine rosette orange, cream and white marble. Door panels, sculptures, altar pieces, wrought iron gates, dividers, chandeliers and other forms of metal craft are mostly done in bronze and there are a hundred and thirty four stained glass windows throughout the structure. These beautiful stained glass windows depict a deep understanding of the faith. Another distinct article of this church is the central door where important episodes of the history of the Miller Cathedral is artistically reflected. There's a lot more to see and understand inside this cathedral. Not only the interior, but also the exterior. I mean, the bell, the bell tower, and so on, I haven't even talked about, but it's way too much for one video. So if this is something that interests you, I think that you should do a little bit of research online before visiting the cathedral, because there really is a lot to read about the history of this one structure. The easiest way to get to the cathedral is probably gonna be to take a taxi. However, be aware that Manila traffic can be a nightmare. Watch the video that I did on Manila traffic, also Manila taxis. What you should and should not do and know before taking a taxi in Manila. And if this is something that you like, old historical places, I would highly recommend that you also visit the Santiago Fort, which is just up the road from the cathedral and by far one of the highlights for me of this area.